Hi, good evening. It's getting late in the day today, and I am really excited because this is the third part in uh, healing. Um, and my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, and uh, I'm sharing from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. And we're talking about bringing a revival to America, your city, your country, your world, um, by knowing the joy of the Lord. Um, so we're going over some of the kingdom things, and this is the third in uh, three part of three parts from my chapter on healing, which I believe is chapter 14. I think it's chapter 14, and this is really a good one. This is about God is sovereign. This is about wrong thinking, traditional and religious thinking that prevents you from getting your healing. And this is a really big one, and we're only going to go over one uh, wrong believing today. Uh, it's the last one in this chapter, but it's a big one. It's um, God is sovereign. This is wrong believing. God is sovereign. He can do whatever he wants. Okay, now before you turn me off or get angry, watch this, okay? I'm going to show you through the word, proving it through the word. The truth is God gave the earth and he gave it to man. Genesis 1:26. He gave man all authority, all dominion, and he said rule and subdue the earth. He gave us authority over everything on the earth, okay? And and um, that's his will. Okay, so that's his will, so he gave man. So in order to, to do anything on this earth, you have to have a fleshly, a flesh body. You have to be human being, okay? God gave his authority to man for a 7,000 year lease, and then he takes it back during um, uh, the rapture takes place, and we live in earth, heaven for a while with, with the Lamb's Supper, then we come back to earth, and so on. Anyway, our lease is about up. We're about ready to get raptured. Um, anyway, so the truth is, like I said, God made rules. Number one rule is he gave all authority and dominion to men. And God is not a man that he would lie. He would not say, here, I give you all authority. Now, wait, wait, but in this situation, I want the authority, and I'm going to do whatever I want. God has to always go through a man. A human being, that's why we have to pray to invite God into our situation. He's not just going to do things for us. As, um, you know, he has to work through somebody is praying for somebody. For everything that happens is backed by prayer. Somebody on this earth prayed. Okay. Um, these are rules that God made when he gave man authority on the earth. He said you can, ha you man, human being, can have what you say. Um, and that's Mark 11, 22, and 24. That whoever shall say to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and shall not doubt what he says in his heart, and believe what the things he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he said. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them, and you shall have them. Uh, the next one, you, human being, man, are to loosen and bind. I give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And we're talking about the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So, if it's not in heaven, you don't allow it on earth. If it's not in heaven, you either loosen it or bind it. So, it's up to you. Okay, the next thing is, if two people agree on earth. It didn't say if God does it and wants it. It said if two people agree on earth, you can have what you agree. It will be done for you. And that's Luke 10, 19. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them by, of my Father which is in heaven. Matthew 18, 9. Also, he's, Jesus said, he gave us all the power over all the power of the enemy. Luke 10, 19. And you are in him. He's the, he's the head and you are his body. And James 4, 7, it says, you resist the devil and he will flee from you. Okay, uh, the other thing is, I want to show you the whole world is under the sway of the devil. Um, and that is 1 John 5, 19. Death, disease, poverty, lack, fear, destroying weather, pain, destroying bugs, uh, animals, anything that is kill, steal, or destroy. John 10, 10 says that's from the devil and abundant life is from God. So, um, you are to change the things that the devil brings on this earth with the kingdom of God that is within you through the Holy Spirit, you are to bring bring joy to people, um, just like Jesus did. You're to heal the sick, cast out demons, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, um, preach the good news to the poor. God put you on this earth at this time because He equipped you 
with the personality, the power, his presence, and everything you need in this time to bring revival to your area. You weren't born 90 years ago. You weren't born in cowboy days. You weren't born in Roman days. You weren't born in Viking days. You were born in this time, and you were born in the country you're in because you are the person that's supposed to bring change and revival to your place. So that's it for today on that chapter. I'm not sure what we're going over next, but my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.